Hello everyone. So today in this session we are going to cover the topic which is 2.6 in your textbook the past in the present. Okay? Now this is basically a skit. Skit between whom? So there are the characters which are involved in the skit. Okay? So we will see the characters. Now there's this boy who's called as Neil. Okay? He's a young teenager boy like you all students and his name is T Neil. And then there is neel ki mamma okay so neel's mother okay so this is basically these are the main present characters where there is a boy who's neel and his mother neel's mother okay and then there are these past characters a past artist to kon kon hai wo characters there's neel's dad okay see over there it's given 1950s neel's grandpa तो जो नील्स ग्रैंड पा है उनकी मॉम तो सामने वैसे वैसे कैरेक्टर्स है फिर नील के दादा के दादा तो नील के दादा के दादा की मॉम वैसे सो दिस इज अ कन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन अ स्टूडेंट अ बॉय एंड हिज मदर फाइन नाउ लेट इज नॉट गो फर्दर इन टू द कैरेक्टर्स और एल्स यू यू गाइज विल गेट कन्फ्यूज ओके सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद द सीन वॉट इज द सीन नाउ दिस इज अ ड्रामा राइट तो सीन क्या है अ टिपिकल टीन एज बॉयज रूम इन अ मेस्ट अप स्टेट एज वी ऑल नो वी आर टेन एजर एंड यू नो आर रूम इज ऑलवेज मेसी यू नो देर आर फ्यू पीपल जिनका रूम क्लीन होता है एंड दे आर वेल बिहेव वेल ऑर्गेनाइज बट समाइम्स देर आर पर्सन और देर आर पीपल जिनका रूम मेसी होता है आउट ऑफ फिट वन वर्स नील ओके सो नील इज सेंग टू हिज मदर what is he saying mom i put the dishes in the dishwasher just as you asked me to now i'm going out to meet my friends okay as usual a normal skit jaise hum log ko mamma bolti hai that you she allots her she allots us the work right you have to do this you have to do this just clean the vessels or wipe the floor out there and stuff like that right mamma hum log ko kaam deti hai and then we do that and then we go like we say now mamma your work is done now i'll go to play or now i'll do this you know we do things like that then the same way neel was saying to his mother that mom i have put the dishes in the dishwasher ke jo dishes the wo maine dishwashers mein rakh di hai and now can i go to meet my friends and her mom in a mod outfit ha huh? okay so he's telling his mom what is her mom saying you haven't cleaned up your room so what is the mom saying that you haven't cleaned up your room yet you have just washed the dishes but what about your room so what is neel saying Oh, I cleaned it only two days ago. That I just cleaned my room two days ago. It's just been two days, Mama. Mom, you have to clean it up every day. Okay, you cannot say. अभी जैसे हम लोग ने आज झाड़ू मारा, फिर शाम को हम सुबह मारते, फिर वापस शाम को मारते, right? You cannot say अरे सुबह तो मारा, अभी वापस क्यों मारूँ? These are the things which you do regularly, right? In the same way, you should keep your room clean, your surroundings clean. That's a sign of good habit, right? So her mom, his mom is saying that you need to clean your room every day. It is the thing which you need to do every day and not once or twice. a week neel picking up his book clothes headphones etc from the floor and bed and putting them into their places so when mom said that you need to clean your room what did neel do he picked up the books clothes and headphones which were lying on the floor and bed okay is it necessary to clean up every day what different does it makes okay so he's saying that why is it necessary to clean it every day do din rakhte hai pura messy ho jata hai fir clean karenge that is just a basic thought of a teenager so he's saying why is it necessary to clean it every day so what is mom saying it does it builds up the right habit the right attitude as i said it's a sign of a good habit right like whenever you keep things clean around you you feel nice there's a there's positive vibes around you wherein it is all messy you don't like to stay in such atmosphere right so his mom is saying that it's a sign of good happy good happiness it's a sign of sorry it's a sign of right habit and then and therefore you should keep your room clean every day 
so what is neil saying cuts are short that she was saying something and then he just cuts us hum you we usually do this right koi bolta aur apan ko nahi pasand aata to hum unki baat kaat dete hai in the same way neil cuts her cuts her out matlab wo jo bol rahe the unki mamma unki baat ko cut karte hue wo kya bolte hai all right all right i get enough of lectures when school is on so he thought that mamma is giving lectures and he is saying that mamma i do get lectures in the school time okay so now you don't give me lectures okay mom after neil finishes his score okay so neil is doing his things like we're picking he's picking up the things keeping them into places so once he does all of these and once he's finished doing all of these what mom is saying that looks much better now that once he have cleaned the room once neil has cleaned all the room kept the things on the table and on a proper place what mom is saying that that looks much better now but you forget to make your bed do that and you may go out okay so she is saying that everything you have done but you have not done your bed so you can do that and then you can leave neel now he is irritated ki kya mummy पहले मैंने बुक्स उठाए हेडफोन्स उठाए देन आजू बाजू का साफ किया अभी आप वापस पेड बोल रहे हो सो ही वॉज फ्रस्टेटेड एंड देन ही इज इरीटेटेड सो वॉट इज सेंग मॉम इट्स गेटिंग लेट द बेड इज गोइंग टू बी मेस्ट अप अगेन वेन आई स्लीप आफ्टर लंच वाई डू आई हैव टू मेक माई बेड why so what he's saying that i'll have my lunch and then i'll sleep so again it's gonna be messy so what is the need to clean it so i don't want to clean it he's just asking his mom that what is the reason na to clean it it will again become messy so there's no need to clean so what mom is saying hmm that reminds me of something i heard about your grandpa so she's saying that this this thing which you said me that why i need to do things that reminds me something of your grandpa ki aisi baat sun ke mujhe kya yaad aa raha hai aapke dada ji ki ek baat yaad aa rahi hai which one will see when he was in his teens that when your grandpa was in his teenager period jab wo apne teenage period mein the tab ki mujhe ek baat yaad aayi he had many more daily chores to finish and much to much tougher ones too so what he what she is saying the mom is saying to neil that when your grandpa was a teenager he had much chores to do he had much work to do and more tougher one ye to ki aapne aapki khud ki book uthai khud ke kapde uthaye but when your grandpa was a teenager he had much tough work to do plus he used to do his household works aisa to kya tough work the hum dekhte hain mom on that day his mom had told him firmly okay so what she is saying unki mom kya bol rahi hai ki us time pe aapke dada ji ko unki mummy ne ek baat firmly bola tha firmly strictly bola tha unke dada ji ko ha तो अब यहाँ पे कैरेक्टर्स कौन आए नील के दादाजी एंड नील के दादाजी की मॉम यू कैन सी द कैरेक्टर्स ऑन पेज नंबर 54 द फर्स्ट पिक्चर ऑन टू द लेफ्ट अ टीनेजर बॉय फ्रॉम 1950 ओके द बॉयज ऑफ 1950s का एज का बात चल रहा है जब उसके दादाजी रह गए ना नील के तब का वेरिंग लूज ट्राउजर्स एंड शर्ट यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर enters with his enters with his mother in a silk sari now it is a skit right drama chal raha hai to ye log side mein ho jate hain neel and his mom and then these two characters enter on the stage the boy's mother matlab kon basically neel ke dada ji ki mom the one which you see in the picture on to the left make your bed before going out she is also saying the same thing that you want to go out then you go out but please make your bed clear your bed the boy is saying 90s 50 boy jo unke dada ji hai but mama i have already watered the garden now नील की मॉम ने बोला दैट ही उनके दादाजी बहुत सारे काम करते थे एंड ऑल्सो द काम बिच वॉज टफ तो यही सारी चीज़ें कि वो उन उस टाइम पे वो क्या काम करते थे नाउ नील वॉट डिड ही डू ही जस्ट क्लीन यू नो पिकड अप द बुक्स एंड हेडफोन्स एंड वॉट एवर विच वॉज देयर इन इज रूम बट एट 
ड्यूरिंग द एज ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ हिज ग्रैंड पा वॉट ही यूज टू डू वॉट वर्क ही यूज टू डू इज मैं बट मम्मा आई हैव ऑलरेडी वॉट आर द गार्डन ब्रॉट होम द ग्रोसरीज सो वॉट ही यूज टू डू हेज ब्रॉट द ग्रोसरीज He has watered the garden, dusted the living room, cleaned my bicycle. Now why do I need to make my bed? Okay, so उन्होंने उस टाइम पर वो सारे काम किए थे यू नो ही क्लीन द लिविंग रूम ही देन गार्डन द प्लांट्स ओके वाटर द प्लांट सॉरी देन ही ब्रॉट होम द ग्रोसरी सो इज डूइंग आई हैन ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स नाउ आई डोंट नीड टू मेक माई बेड सो जो उनके दादाजी की मॉम थी वॉट ईज सेंग वॉट शी इज सेंग सॉरी लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट योर ग्रैंड फादर इन हिज टीन्स फिर वो उनको बोलते कि अभी मैं आपको आपके दादाजी की बात सुनाती हूँ वैसे नाइनटीन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज बॉय एंड मदर री सीड एंड स्टैंड बिहाइंड अभी ये लोग पीछे चले जाते हैं इट्स अ स्केट गोइंग ऑन राइट सो दे गो बिहाइंड एंड देन नाइनटीज Ten boy enters dressed in kurta pajama and cap with his mother in a nine yard sari, nose ring and jewelry. Nine yard is basically now wari sari, okay? Nose ring and jewelry. So now Neil ke dada ke dada, okay? And unki mom ka baat chal raha hai yaha pe. Neil ke dada ke age ka year kaun sa tha? Ninety fifties. And Neil ke dada ke dada ke age ka kya hai? Ninety ten. understood student now what is the mother saying you can't go out unless you make your bed the same thing but the work over here is different the mother is saying the same thing that you need to clean your bed but jo unke dada the fir unke dada unke dada unke dada what all work they used to do is different over here so neil's grandfather was doing the work of watering the plants you know cleaning the bicycle cleaning the living room making uh, bringing groceries now what dada ke dada used to say let us see mummy i fetched water and filled up the pots swept the terrace collected wood from the stove for the stove cleaned the grinding stones okay so what he is saying neel ke dada ke dada but i have done my work i have filled the pots with वाटर देन स्वेप द टेरिस टेरिस को भी क्लीन कर लिया फिर स्टव उस टाइम पे स्टव रहता था देर देर यू नो गैस वॉज नॉट अवेलेबल एट दैट टाइम सो आई हैव कलेक्टेड वुड फॉर द स्टव एंड ऑल्सो क्लीन द ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स के जो ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स होते हैं वो भी मैंने क्लीन कर दी है अब ये बात क्या चल रही है नील और नील के मॉम के बीच में राइट वो लोग अपने दादा का बात करते फिर दादा दादा वैसे चल रहा है सो अचानक नील्स गेट अल गेट्स अ डाउट वॉट डाउट ही गेट्स नील्स नील टेल्स टू हिज मॉम वॉट ईज सेंग दैट वॉट आर ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स अभी उन्होंने बोला ना दैट आई हैव केप्ट आई हैव क्लीन द ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स तो वो वही पूछता है कि मम्मा वॉट इज सॉरी वॉट इज ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स की ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन्स क्या है सो मॉम इज सेंग Oh yes they didn't have any electric grinders in those days so neil realizes that yeah yeah they didn't had grinders at that time it was 1910 wala period so us time pe they, they you know their grinder was not available at that time so he then remembers ke yeah yeah they didn't have any electric grinders in those days mom no electricity either in most towns and cities in india then so um, his, his mom is also saying that at that time even electricity even never there in towns and cities at that time so neil's look surprised that he was completely surprised by listening to this thing 1910 boy neil ke dada ke dada i promise to go to the river side with my friends why do i have to make my bed now so he is saying that i have promised my friends that i will come to them i will you know go to, go with them to the river side so now i need to go there why i need to make my bed right now so the boy's mother to her son let me tell you about your great grandfather who lived in the 19th century when he was young so again the same thing wo bolte hai let me tell you the story of your great great grandfather okay 
ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर मतलब दादा के दादा का स्टोरी आई विल टेल यू विच ही यूज टू स्टे इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी यूज टू लिव इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी सो नाउ दिस टू पर्सन लाइक नाइनटीन टेन एंड उनकी मम्मा रिसीड टू वे द प्रीवियस पेयर स्टैंड के जहाँ जाए ये लोग पहले के लोग रह रहे दे दे गो स्टेज पर चल रहे हैं ना स्किट तो दैट इज़ वाई दे आर सेंग लाइक दिस एंड नाउ एटीन हंड्रेड बॉयज मतलब वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड उस टाइम के ज़माने का बॉय एंड डज इन धोती कुर्ता एंड स्मॉल टर्बन विद इस मदर इन अ नाइन यार्ड साड़ी एंड ट्रेडिशनल ज्वेलरी यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव तो वो 1800, 1800 basically. Mother, उस टाइम की मम्मा Son, make everyone's bed. बेड तो वो बोल रहे मेक एवरी वंस बेड उस टाइम पर तो सब एक ही बेड पर सोते थे सो हर हिज मदर इज सेंग दैट मेक्स एवरी वन मेक एवरी वंस बेड सो दैट बॉय इज सेंग मदर डियर I have washed clothes at the river now. See, they used to go to wash clothes at the river side and put them up to dry. And I have also dried them up. I have chopped the wood, fixed the broken fence, broken fence which stays that they used to say stay in sort of area which was maybe near the woods. Took up the goats. took the goats up the hill to graze i want to play atya patya with my friends why do i have to make the bed so he is saying that i did all the work you know goat ko main leke gaya hill pe grass karne ke liye maine wood kaata fence ko thik kiya matlab basically jungle mein rehte the now i need to go with my friends to play atya patya now what do you mean by atya patya that was basically a गेम क्या गेम होता है दैट देर आर दिस फोर बॉक्सेस विच आर मेड एंड देर आर टू टीम्स ओके सो वन प्लेयर का टीम वन वन टीम का प्लेयर ट्राई टू मूव टू अनदर बॉक्स बट जो सामने वाले प्लेयर्स रहते हैं दे जस्ट स्टे इन एन इनक्लाइन वो जो क्रॉस रहता है बीच में उस पर ही वो प्लेयर हिल सकता है अपोजिंग टीम वाला and then this person tries to move from one box to another so that is called as atya patya so he is saying that i need to go with my friends to play atya patya so what the boy's mother is saying that's your daily work your great great grandfather did even more now go and make the bed so she is saying the same thing that your great great grandfather ग्रैंडफादर के दादा के दादा हा 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 योर ग्रेट ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर सो ग्रैंड फादर दादा जी के दादा जी के दादा मीन्स बेसिकली द पर दादाज दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो अगेन दे टेल के आपके वो फादर के फादर के फादर के फादर दे ऑल्सो इवन यूज टू अगेन द सेम थिंग आप लोग समझ रहे हो वॉट इज़ द थिंग गोइंग ऑन ओवर हेयर नाव एटीन हंड्रेड लाइक दो वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड बॉय एंड मदर रीसेट रीसेट टू वे द प्रीवियस पेयर स्टैंड वापिस ये लोग पीछे चल जाते हैं नाव एंटर्स वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बॉय मतलब उस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टाइम वाला एरिया के बॉय ड्रेस्ड इन अ लूज स्लीवलेस वी नेक टॉप एंड शॉर्ट टू थी विद इज मदर इन अ नाइन यार्ड साड़ी यू कैन सी द पिक्चर इन द राइट ऑन पेज फिफ्टी फाइव नील सो नाव नील इज टेलिंग टू हिज मॉम जो अभी के नील है नील अभी का जो बच्चा है वॉट ही सेंग एंड दिस फोर फादर ऑफ माइन इज फ्रॉम सो नाव एवरी टाइम दे आर टेलिंग अस कौन से सेंचुरी के है तो लास्ट टाइम वाले नाइनटीन सेंचुरी के थे सो नाव ही इज आस्किंग के ये वाले कौन से सेंचुरी के है वैसे सो मॉम इज सेंग द सिक्सटी सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी ओके दैट अभी ये लोग जिनके बात कर रहे हैं बेसिकली द एंसेस्टर्स वो लोग का सेंचुरी कौन सा है सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी तो अभी उनका काम क्या था वी विल सी just give me one second so we will see unka kaam kya tha what is she saying just uh, yeah the 16th century 
माई डियर मदर आई हैव ऑलरेडी मिल्क द का उसके मैंने काव को मिल्क भी दे दिया है टेकन दैम टू ग्रास फेच वेजिटेबल्स फ्राम आ फार्म स्टॉक दैम स्टैक दैम मतलब बेसिकली उनको कलेक्ट करके इकट्ठा रख दिया स्वेप द बैक यार्ड एंड फ्रंट यार्ड जो आजू बाजू जो फ्रंट यार्ड और बैक यार्ड उनको झाड़ू भी मार दिया Now, may I please go to play Ashtapada with Samat, Samat, Sampat Bhau and Mahadev Bhau? Why should I make my bed now? So he is again saying the same things, the things which he did, like grass ko, gai ko pani deya, do de deya, then grow a jo gai tha unko. खेती में ग्रेस करने के लिए गए ही फेच वेजिटेबल्स फ्रॉम द फार्म एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स विच ही डेड एंड नाउ ही सेंग दैट आई नीड टू गो टू प्ले अष्टपाड़ा अष्टपाड़ा इज बेसिकली चेस अभी का जो चेस होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड अष्टपाड़ा उस किसके साथ विथ संपद बाहु एंड महादेव बाहु तो वॉट इज द मदर सेंग वाई वाई डोंट टॉक बैक थिंक ऑफ योर डबल ग्रेट 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 ग्रैंड फादर वेन ही वॉज अबाउट फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड ओके सो अगेन शी इज टेलिंग द सेम थिंग कैन हाव यू थिंक अबाउट योर ग्रेट 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 ग्रैंड फादर वेन ही वॉज फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड तो वापिस वही आगे का स्टोरी स्टार्ट होता है Now दिस पर्सन गो बैक लाइक वन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड वाले जो बॉय है एंड इज मदर रिसीड के वो लोग पीछे जाते हैं एंड नाउ एंटर्स द थाउजेंड बॉय इन अ फ्लेम ट्यूनिक एंड चूरी दैट वेस्ट पैन एंड टर्बन विद इस मदर इन अ सारी अप गार्मेंट एंड प्लेंटी ऑफ ज्वेलरी ओके तब उनका एंट्री होता है सो so, वो बॉय बोल रहा है जो वन यू नो थाउजेंड वाले एज के हैं थाउजेंड वाले पीरियड के हैं नाउ दे आर सेंग मोस्ट ड्रेवर्ड मदर आई हैव फेच वाटर फ्रॉम द लेक एंड पोर्ड इट इन टू द फार्म चैनल्स टू वाटर आर क्रॉप्स आई क्लियर द ब्लॉक चैनल्स एंड पोल्ड आउट वीट्स and at home i patch the mud walls now this is like very ancient student you can understand it by reading what he is saying that i have fetched water from the lake and poured it into the farm channels ke maine lake mein se pani nikal ke wo inko de diya apne jo crops hai unko de diya hai i have cleared the block channels and pulled out weeds okay ke jo crops uge rahte hain wo bhi maine pull kar liye hai and now हम जो गांव में देखते हैं जो काउडंग से घर बना रहता है सैट होम आई हैव पैच द मड वॉल्स मैंने वो भी पैच कर दिया है वे दे व क्रैक्स के जहाँ जहाँ पे क्रैक्स थे वहाँ पर वहाँ पर मैंने नया वो गोबर का पैच लगा के उसको भी ठीक कर दिया है नाउ आई हैव नो टाइम फॉर एनी थिंग एल्स नाउ ही सिंग दर आई हैव नो टाइम और विश टू गो टू वॉच द पपेट शो मुझे पपेट शो देखना है पपेट शो इज क्या बोलते हैं कतली वाला खेल जो होता है ना वो वाई डू आई हैव टू मेक माई बेड द सेम थिंग मदर इज आस्किंग टू मेक द बेड द दादा इज सेंग के वो उन्होंने क्या क्या काम किया एंड बेड बनाना सॉरी बेड बनाना क्यों इम्पॉर्टेंट है वैसा The boy's mother, do not grumble, dear son. That do not grumble, irritated mother. Your triple great, triple great, triple great grandfather had to do much more when he was young. Again, the same thing. Triple, triple, triple great grandfather. Now what happens? Thousand boy and his mother recede. मतलब वो ही जो thousand वाले period के जो थे वो लोग चले जाते हैं and now enters the first century CE boy. C is E is like before Christ वाला उनके पहले boy dressed in a dhoti and a waistband. no shirt and his mother in a sari and an upper garment and beads jewelry. so that boy is saying mata devi i fed the poultry tended the sheep 
kept the birds away for four hours in a field using a sling also plastered the yard with dung okay to wo kya kaam kar rahe the that i have felt the poultry tended the sheep and keep the birds away from the fo- keep birds away for four hours in a field using a sling so he's saying the same thing and then plastered the yard with the dung ke wo jo kheti wadi ka kaam karte the wo sab maine kar liya hai maine sheep ko you know main round pe leke gaya tha i kept the birds away into the farm abhi jo farm hota hai फार्म में यू नो बहुत आते तो वो अपना जो क्रॉप्स ग्रो किया होता है वो खा लेते तो मैंने चार घंटा बैठ के वो भी आई मेक श्योर डेट द बर्ड्स आर नॉट सिटिंग ऑन आर आ क्रॉप एंड देन आई प्लास इट द यार्ड विद द डंग द बॉय आई विश टू गो एंड प्ले बागचाल विद माई फ्रेंड्स नाव वाई डू यू विश मी टू मेक द बेड राइट नाव वॉट डू मीन बाई बाग चाल स्टूडेंट बाग चाल एक बेसिकली कैसा गेम था पता है इट इज़ अ गेम लाइक बाग चाल में क्या होता है तेरा टू कैटेगरीज लाइक टू कंसिडरेशन एक होता है टाइगर जैसा एंड वन इज़ लाइक कोट ओके सो द वन हु टाइगर दे बेसिकली हैव फोर कॉइन्स और फोर स्टोन्स विद दैम ओके सो टाइगर हैव फोन फोर कॉइन्स और फोर स्टोन्स एंड द वन हुज प्लेइंग द पार्ट ऑफ कोट दे हैव ट्वेंटी कॉइन्स और ट्वेंटी स्टोन्स विद दैम नाउ हाउ दिस हाउ डज दिस वर्क इज द टाइगर्स आर फोर ओके एंड द गोट्स आर ट्वेंटी नाउ टाइगर्स कैन मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अन अदर बट द गोट्स कैन नॉट मूव एंड द गोट्स हैव टू मेक श्योर कि उनके आजू बाजू में टाइगर नहीं आए और इल्स वन टाइगर कम्स यू नो दे ईट दैट कोट मतलब बेसिकली क्या कि वो जो कोट का कॉइन होगा वो आउट हो जाएगा वैसे सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ बाग चाल गेम सो ही इज सेंग दैट माई नीड टू गो आउट एंड प्ले बाग चाल गेम विद माई फ्रेंड्स प्लीज अलाउ मी टू गो ना वॉट इज मदर सेंग because that is what boys have to do let me tell you about your ancestor 3000 years ago now she is telling that let me tell you about your ancestor who is 3000 years ago wala time wale first century boy and mother rishi enter boy from 3000 bce a cloth around the waist held by a cord long hair in a bun or a pony tail and his mother sari a veil stone and beards jewelry ab wo kya bol rahe this is basically the description that how mother and child have dressed up according to that period okay that now this period is about 3000 BC so usme kaisa tha that guy is wearing a loose shirt uh, not shirt basically is just wearing a cloth around his waist which is covered and the mother is wearing a sari okay and some stones and beads jewelry वैसे जो stone ke jewelries hote hain na वैसे what is the boy saying me both to the me hunted down the food for our family me help father to carve stone bricks for our new houses me dusted our leather clothes molded mud pots for cooking and put them to dry okay matlab kya basically let us see me both to the me both to the matlab kya stu me both to the is like an old english so me over here is i and the is you so what he is saying that i both to you mummy me haunted down the food for our family the us time pe they used to just shoot someone or you know just pick things from jungle to make their food so he is saying the same thing that i have haunted down the food for our family that kuch na kuch so maine select kar liya as a food for our family i have helped father to carve stone bricks for our new house that what they used to do they used to stay in the houses which were made up of stones so he is saying that i have carved all the stones and then i have dusted our leather clothes ke jo pehle ka leather का क्लॉथ रहता था उसके ऊपर धूल लग गया रहेगा तो उसको भी आई हैव 
dust it molded mud pots for cooking and put them to dry that i have you know made pots out of mud and then given it a proper shape and they are also drying drying me need your kind permission to go out and play chow par with my friends why toast to needs me to make me bed so what he saying that i need to go out and play chow par with my friends so why are you telling me to make bed for myself now what is chow par students chow par is basically a bika ludo the ludo which we play now us time pe they used to call it chow par so what is the mother saying because my me say so do it now so she is telling because i am saying you to clean your bed right now so do it right now all mother to their sons in turn repeat do it now with the boy answering yes mother so everyone all the people jo abhi abhi tak the jo sare pehle ke you know all the all of them the one of 13th century 19th century 1500 wale period ke everyone who were there present on the stage all the mother said in said one thing in common that do it now and the child used to say yes mother so she is reminding them that everyone used to say do it now to so neel ki mom is also saying that same thing let us see further neel okay so young teenage boys have had goes to do outdoors as well as in their homes mom very much so absolute right so now the neil realizes that yeah the young teenagers have work to do outside also as well as inside also okay so now she tells yes yes you guys you as a teenager you have to do work neil i wish i had a robot to make my bed and tidy up my room so he is a teenage boy na to wo bhai bol raha that i wish i had a robot so that he could help me out to clean my room mom nothing is impossible if you try you can make such a robot but even for that you need to work hard the bottom line is go and make your bed that she is telling that yeah yeah that's fine you also can make a robot out of it but for that also you need to work if you work then only you can make your robot but the bottom line is now don't change the topic and go make your bed and then the curtain falls down because it's a skit right the skit get skit gets over some just student so basically what is the bottom line ki unke ancestors and sisters and sisters and sisters every mother used to say the same thing that go and make your bed and every child used to say okay mom i'll do it everyone first started out at why to do but later on they say that okay fine i will do it okay Now coming towards the warming up part component of a play we find the following in the script or a script rearrange the steps in the proper order and write them in the form of flow chart so you have to write the climax the dialogue the title the scene the curtain and the characters you have to rearrange them in proper order and then you have to write it in the form of flow chart So yeah this is something you guys can do it in homework you know the cut, uh, characters you know the dialogues between them you know the title so you just have to rearrange them and do it in the form of homework sub question 2 think of a play or skit which you have seen or enacted on the stage and which has impressed you write the following in details sometimes you you guys are in ninth standard now so you might have taken part in skit or something like that in your school so you have to just mention one of the skit you remember or koi bhi chhota sa play jo aapne koi bhi event mein kiya ho and then uske upar you have to write so again this is something you can write it as your homework present this points in the form of a review and give it a suitable title okay sub question 3 and 4 you can ignore now coming to page number 57 students in the diagram below encircle the various features that make the script of a skit 
play. List the order of words and mention the form of writing of which it is feature. Ah, uh, no, that's fine. You don't write. Sub question two. Yes, sub question two is something you just have to pick alternative. This is your homework, students. Sub question two is your homework. Sub question three. Yeah, the dressing sense, the costume, the course which they have done is something which is easy. Again, sub question three is your homework. Talking about sub question four. What is there in sub question four? Mm-hmm. Answer in one word. Yeah, the basic one-line answer. Again, sub question four would be your homework. Fifth is in the play. Two devices that make use of wheels are given. Mm. Yeah, you can do till sub question four. Yes, sub question five is again easy. Where the wheels were mentioned, you can do that. So you can mention the things in which wheels were mentioned. Two devices that make use of wheels. Mm, imagine that the ancestor. Sub question six is interesting. You have to imagine what the ancestor from nineteen ten would say to Neil in his dream. You just have to imagine things between two about the various gadgets in the gadget. Jet in the visitor sees in Neil's room. Okay, so basically you have to make a dialogue in which the ancestor of 1910 has arrived and he sees the gadgets. Okay, उनके time पे तो gadget नहीं थे and now Neil has like headphones, phones, cell phones, laptops and thing like that in his room. So the person, the ancestor is asking about the gadgets. So this is like a interesting dialogue writing which you can do. So again, sub question six would be your homework. Sub question seven. Yeah, again the dialogue between a mother, not a dialogue, basically an argumentative dialogue in which you know झगड़ा हो गया, argument हो गया between the mother of twentieth century, twenty first century, and those of the earlier era about which life is better for women that they think which life would have been better for women. So yeah, yeah, आपका imagination है what you all can imagine. उसके ऊपर है तो अगेन सब क्वेश्चन सेवन वुड बी योर होमवर्क या दैट्स इट स्टूडेंट सो ओवर हियर ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन एंड फिफ्टी एट वॉट इज योर होमवर्क आई एल अगेन रिपीट इट फॉर यू ऑल ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन सब क्वेश्चन टू सब क्वेश्चन थ्री Sub question one as well you can do. So sub question one, sub question two, sub question three, sub question four, five, six, and seven is your homework on page number fifty-seven and fifty-eight. Okay, and coming on to page number fifty-two, your homework would be. Sub question one and sub question two. So yeah, student, that was it for today's session. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you all in the next session. Till then, bye bye and take care. Bye.